Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. PVG, PVG. Um, PVG is probably likely to, probably likely to come, come here and fill this gap here. So we've got this gap right here. So probably likely to come here and fill this gap right now. Um, so yeah, so this, this gap here, this is, this is probably likely to start to see some sort of a gap fill, um, coming through here. So we're getting a bit of a rally through here right now. It's very, very hard to say because like, if we look at the resistance level, right, we had this major resistance level through here. We had a bit of a gap down and now we're, now we're having a bit of a rally back up. So we're probably likely to start to see a move to the upside, but we have, we're getting a lot of bearishness move through here. So we're starting to change the trend. So it may come and fill the gap, it may not. And the reason why I say that is because we've started the, we've started the move on the downside. So there's no real clear indication on where this is going. One thing I love to do when I'm trading, see my moving average, how it points up. I love taking trades through here when the moving average is definitely pointing up um, and definitely giving me some nice moves through there. So that's, that's basically what I see through there. Um, so I hope that makes sense there, 1,000 storm. Hello, Ruffs, Ruffs Jan, Ruffs Jan. <laughs> Ruff, I'm gonna call you Ruff. Um, <laughs> cause I, I can't pronounce the name. <laughs> um, I had to ask my man, John, thanks. No problem, man, no problem. Just remember at our, our making that my coaching program, right? My coaching program, my trading strategy, the scanning, it all comes together, right? Because the, if you the, the if you don't know the strategy inside now, know exactly what to look for in a good trade, um, and you're disciplined of that, the scanning tool is going to be useless to you. That's the reason why I have a coaching program, and the coaching program is that I'm there every day helping you, right? Just like for example, you know, uh, yesterday I was actually speaking to one of one of my private clients who was actually going through a bit of a hard time right now, where he knows he should be sticking he should he should be sticking to some really sticking to the plan, but he's just started this last sort of, his couple of trades, he's been taking crap trades. So I called him up on the phone and I had a really good talk with him to get him straight, get his mind straight, right? This is what I do as a coach. I, I When you go through these times when you know you should be doing better, but you're not, I get your mind straight, I get you back on the path and I get you moving forward again. So my coaching program is just not, hey, the scanning process and all that sort of stuff. It's about me coaching you and helping you through that, right? Because that's 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 ninety percent of your success is whether you can stick to the process or not, um, you know, and and how well you do when the market when when things go quiet when there's no trades for maybe a week or two, because I don't have trades every day, but when they do come up, that's when I trade, right? Um, and so that's that's the whole thing there with the, with that. Um, no problem, thanks, Storm. Oh, uh, one <laughs> thanks, Storm. Uh, one thousand Storm. Uh, J Nug, J Nug Darren, sure. People love J Nug, don't they? They absolutely love J Nug. Uh, let's have a look at J Nug. All right, so J Nug, um, a bit of a gap up today. So J Nug is probably likely to start to see a move up as well. Um, well, this is this is obviously following uh, the uh, the junior miners stocks. So this is actually probably following um, that there. Let me just have a look at let me have a look at some options here for a minute. What do we got here? 16, uh, 100 there. Ninety-five. Oh wow. All right, so I'm just having a look here at some options here. Oh wow. Look at that. That's pretty cool. If I have a look at say the this is December nineteen, let me have a look at the January the January nineteen. I'm just looking to see what the prices are. Okay. Ninety five. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, I see. Um Oh yeah, I see, I see. Um just having a look at just having a look at those little um uh 
OKU next 90 days. Um, let me tell you here. Where's my crystal ball? <laughs> ROKU next 90 days. Um, wow. So we're definitely seeing um, the, the markets starting to... Actually, it's, looking, it's actually pretty, looking pretty bullish right now as I speak. Um, next 90 days, I have no idea. Next next three months, what's going to happen. But we are definitely... What, what's happening right now is we're definitely starting to see... Um, we're definitely starting to see uh, this market where the market rose down, come back up, and now squeezing into this sort of sideways pattern through here. So uh, overall, I think this is squeezing into some sort of a triangle pattern. If it does continue through here, and we do continue to fill in this gap through here, right, we continue to fill in this, this sort of triangle pattern through here, and then we break to the upside, then we're probably likely to go for a big run out of that. Uh, but but we probably need a next 90 days. I'll probably, I, I, I would say over the next 90 days, we're probably like, at least the next month or two, we're probably likely to fill a bit more in here. And then wherever it breaks, we're probably likely to go for a big run. I.e., if we start to get a big break up above 170, then we're probably likely to see a nice move up from there. If we do start to fill in here, but then we start to break down, then we're probably likely to go for a big move on the downside there. But over the next, say, couple months, I would say we're probably likely to continue filling in here before it decides what to do. And then from there, we're probably likely to start to see a move. Um, so that's, that's what I'm seeing there right now um, on that there. So... Yeah, pretty much sideways. I would say sideways for, for pretty much most of the next 90 days out of this here before it decides. Um, so I hope that makes sense, JD. Uh, Uber has really come down. What do you think? Um, let's have a look at... Uh, uh, let's have a look at Uber. All right. Um, so what I think through here was we're definitely on a big, definitely on a, uh, we're definitely on um, on a, on a descent through here. And what I mean by that, we're definitely, we, we've come down through here, we've made a lower high, come back down, we've made another lower high, and we've come back down, and now we're making another, another lower high through here. So what we're seeing through here is this, is that Uber has been absolutely smashed. Um, and we're seeing this this point through here as well, right? So we're getting all this happening right now. If I go back to this daily chart, and if I go back to this this point through here, right, we can see how we're getting. Right, that's that's sort of the the, the sort of the down the, the downtrend that we're seeing through there. So that's what's happening right now with Uber, right? So we continue to see this downward movement through here. Now there's either two things that's likely to happen. One, we're likely to continue down from here and continue going down. Um, and continuing this downtrend, so I wouldn't look. I wouldn't look. I wouldn't look to be going long right now on Uber because we're in a downtrend. We have this high, a lower high. We broke down. We had a pullback. This could be some form of lower high as well too. So we could just be continuing just this overall big downward trend. So I wouldn't want to be doing that. However, however, if the market starts to hold where we are right now, and we create some form of higher low, and we've had this low through here. So this low point through here, and this high low through here, all right? So that's what we're seeing through there. Then then what we're seeing, right? We see then this high, high low, if the market creates a high low, then the, and the market starts to kick back in, and then we start to get like a nice break above these highs through here, right? So we can see like a nice break above these highs. That'll be the first sign of the buy starting to come back in. So we would need to see the market hold through here and start to come back up if that happens. This is gonna be a low, then runs up, makes a lower high, then a higher low, and then breaking back up. A very similar formation for that was actually Caterpillar. Caterpillar did the ex something very similar. You can see how it made this high, then it came down, made a lower low, came up, made a lower high, it came down, but see how it made this high low and then started to pick up, and then the market started to, started to go for a nice run. Now we're having a bit of a pullback. So that that may be that may be what's what's going on right now, uh, actually through through caterpillar through there. Um, so yeah, so really interesting um, uh, through that there. So so guys, if you'd like to learn um, 
If you'd like to learn some of the foundations, chart reading, trading systems, and mindset, then make sure you head on down to Master Trader Lab to grab your free trial. Also, the discounted price you can lock in today as well too. Um, and if you'd like to learn how I trade the markets, my number one trading strategy, and also uh, how I scan the markets, how I only trade one hour per day by using options, then just head on down and join my next web class at johnslivetraining.com. If we have a look here, uh, Pat Daddy said, sold all my puts at EOD and went into TLT puts. Is that EOD? So is, is that right there? EOD? So is that is that what you were saying? Um, oh, end of day. Sold all my puts at uh, sold all my puts at end of day. Okay, <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and went into TLT. Okay. Um, sold all my puts in day, and then went into end of day. Are you saying, did you buy call options on TLT or put options? <laughs> yeah, that, that's all good there. Um, this market's rising through here right now. So, um, <laughs> so look at that there, nice little sideways period through here and then a nice little breakaway bar and away it goes. Hmm. Interesting, right? And now we're getting this sideways period through here. So I'm not sure uh, if you got, what did you do? Did you do calls or did you puts? I think you did calls, didn't you? Um, on TLT. Put options on TLT. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so we can see put options on TLT. Wow. Wow. That's definitely, definitely a gamble. Um, um, it's definitely a gamble because this overall big, this overall big, this overall trend has been going to the upside. So Yeah, no, that's that's definitely a gamble. Definitely a gamble, especially when you've got this weekly chart definitely trending up to the high side. So this pullback here could be very, very short-lived. And we're starting to see a lot of volume as it's breaking up. So buying put options right now is very, very risky. And it's definitely a large gamble. You're hoping that this is that this is going to hold here and continue down from here. So I definitely I definitely wouldn't want to be fighting that weekly trend. I never want if I see a, a weekly trend established in place. Trying to go against that is very, very, very risky. Um, Russell 2000 came back to retest ball flag breakout from the last Monday. Pull back very fast. Not sold on move upside. Okay. So Russell 2000. Um... Well, you could see that that, that was going to happen. Um, you could see that this this whole thing was going to be probably some sort of a false breakout with, with this one here. The reason why is because look at this here, guys, right? Whenever the market does this, all right? Whenever the market goes from there to there, we have a very big long move up. And then we have a short sideways period, guys. And then a breakout. It's not enough, right? We need more time. This sideways period through. We need more of a sideways period before it's ready to go for a run. Um, so due to the fact we had a big move up and then a small pullback, it's not the same, right? We need things to be balanced. If we had a small move up and a small pullback, that's balanced. But if we had a big move up and then a small pullback, that's not balanced. So any move is probably likely to be false breakout. I'll give you an example through there. Um, look at, look at this right here, right? If we go back and have a look at, if you go back here and have a look at, um, uh, this is obviously the 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 uh, the 
Let's bit of that. Dow Jones, <laughs> right? Looking at the Dow Jones, we can see that, right, on the Dow Jones, we can see how we've had this very, see how we had this very long move up, and then we had this short pullback through here. Notice how, when we did break, right, it didn't go, didn't move, didn't, didn't go a long way. Why? Because if you have a big move up, and then a short pullback, it's, it, it needs more of a pullback for it to have fuel to go for another run. So due to the fact that we didn't, we ran up and then it, and then it rolled over. So um, that Russell 2000, even though it was a bull flag or it is a bull flag, uh, it just, it, we, we needed more time. We needed, we needed more time for it to go sideways for this to be a true breakout. Whenever you get that sort of action, guys, and you're looking to get on a breakout, if the market makes a big move up, and then a small pullback, and then the breakout, that's likely to be a false breakout. Very likely to be a false breakout. 10, 20% of the time it's gonna run on, but 80% of the time, you probably this is probably gonna fail, just like I've just shared with you there. The reason why is because we need the market to be balanced. A big move up requires a big, big move, a big sideways period for it to be refueled and balanced. That's why if you go and have a look at, say, gold and silver right now on the weekly chart, right, what do we have here, right? We had what? We had a big move up. Now we're having a nice big move sideways for, for things to be fueled up again. It's rested. Get ready to go for another run again. Same for the gold market, right? Big move up. If you look at this here, big move up, a nice pullback. Big move up. Now we're getting a very nice pullback for it to be refueled um, and then moving forward. So... And what it wouldn't, it, you know, I actually saw that, and people said, Oh, bull flag is going to break out. And I saw that, I'm just like, No, nah, it's probably going to fail. Um, and as you can see, right, it did, and then just completely rolled over. And so, this is think about the market as an energy source, guys, right? And an energy here, right? If the market goes up in a direction for a long period of time, it's used a lot of energy, right? So it's used a lot of energy. Then when it's going through a pullback, it's refueling. It's it's building a lot of energy again. So if we've used a lot of energy, then we need to have then we need a lot of time to build that energy back up again. Then to get to, for it to go for another run. But if we used a lot of energy and then we aren't and then we only refueled a little bit, well, guess what? Then there's there's not not enough energy that's built up through here. It's it's a, think about it as an energy source through there. So when you start to get this here. Right, that's why when you, once again, that's why when you start to go to like gold and silver and stuff like that, look at this back here, right? Look at this back here. So the market had a nice move up. Let me take it from the screen here. Right, look at this here. We had a nice move up, which was this hole from there to there was simply just using energy. It was going in the direction. So we had a nice move up, used a lot of energy. It went, had a nice pullback for a long time. Right, or went sideways through, but a nice pullback for a long time. It's now building a lot of energy again because we didn't because we went for a nice long pullback. It had the energy to go for a nice run to the upside, right, and a nice move to the upside through there. So that's basically what what what's happening right now, guys. All right, and that's basically uh, and that's basically when you want to look at the markets, think about that as the markets as a whole. See, a lot of people we do focus on this one candle through here, but that's sometimes 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 the wrong thing to do. Just think about it as um, as the length of the move. So you can see once again, guys, if I bring up my good old Snagit tool through here. Um, and then the market had, see, market had a big move up, which was energy, energy using. So it's using a lot of energy. Now this sideways period, it needs a long sideways period for it to continue to completely refuel the energy back up. Then it goes for another very big run, right? We did have a bit of a sideways period, through, but overall big run. Now what's happening, right? We're going through a very big, long period of sideways to refuel or rebuild that energy again. And when you refuel and rebuild that energy again, guess what? Now it's got enough energy to go for a big run. But if you have a market that moves up like that and it moves down like that and you get a nice breakout, well, guess what? That's when you're probably likely to start to see that, that, and then that, just like we saw. Right there. So that's this is this is the number one thing that's going to cause the false breakout guys if you get this beforehand now it's not it's not a hundred percent but 80 percent of the time if anyone's looking to get into a trade it's likely to be some sort of false breakout 
Um, and then, yeah, then I just wouldn't, I wouldn't go near that at all. Hmm. Uh, Pat says, hmm, okay, I need to look at that next time. Thanks. No problem, Pat. See, Pat, what I just said there a minute ago, right? That's why, like, if you look at that TLT, but look at that weekly chart, look what's happening, right? We had a nice move up. Then we've just gone through a bit of a nice period through sideways. Um, we may start, we may be getting ready to go for another move up here. We may not be. I just definitely don't want to be going against that weekly trend myself. Um, Disney. Oh, let's have a look at Disney. Disney next 90 days. We will in the next 90 days. <laughs> um, right. So Disney, 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 Disney next 90 days. Um, right. So we definitely got, we definitely got a period of resistance through here. We had this break to the downside. Notice how we had this break down when sideways, that was the false breakout. And then now we're getting, now you got that move up from there. Actually, that, that looks very, very, very similar to some of the GDX. I think it's GDX or maybe the SL, SLV right now. Where it broke down sideways and then it popped back up. Now it's run back up. Now we're running back to the upside. Um, it's actually looking very bullish right now. We're looking very bullish. We had a move up. We had a bit of a pullback. We're getting the moving average starting the trend as well too. So it's actually looking quite bullish through here. So next 90 days, no idea, but short term, looking bullish. Um, NASDAQ retested the megaphone breakout today, weekly chart. NASDAQ megaphone pattern. Oh yeah, you could say that was the megaphone pattern there, but there's only one touch through there. Oh yeah, I see that. I think also the S&P has that too, right? Like if I go back to that weekly chart. So that weekly chart is probably a lot more stronger than anything else. All right, then the daily chart. And then we have a bit of a pullback through here. Um, Hmm, interesting. Yeah. What, and why I'm saying interesting is because uh, that, that megaphone pattern that we're just looking at there right now, let me take this off the screen so I'm, there's not a lot of lines on this chart. You can see that this is the resistance line that's happening right now. So we're probably likely to find a bit of support here and, and continue rallying up. It's interesting that's where the, where the S&P is. Let's have a look at the actual Dow Jones. Is there any <laughs> megaphone type pattern on the Dow Jones? Oh, there actually is in there. Let me, let me, let, man, I got a lot of stuff on this chart. Let me delete. Let me delete some of this stuff off here. Isn't that interesting? Look at that. Right at that resistance level there. So X marks the spot. No one had found support through there. So probably we're probably likely to continue rallying up from here right now, guys. This little pullback is probably going to freak people out. So up, up, and away it goes. Um. So yeah, Adam making. Um, yep, definitely right. You're definitely right there. How's the NUGT looking? NUGT. So, uh, looking, looking very bullish long term, right? We've, we've we definitely had this nice move up. Now we're having a bit of a break to the upside. The NGUT has just been slammed, absolutely slammed. So I would say... We need to break past this $40 level with conviction. Then I would say we're now likely to see some really, really nice moves out of this here over the next couple of years. Um, depends if it's still around. Um, which what I mean by that is that a lot of these ETS guys, like you know 3X and 2X and stuff like that, um, they may or may not be around at that time. Um, and, wh and why I say that is because, uh, as Michael Burry has been saying as well too, that a lot of these ETFs are just they're just one big massive bubble for for it um, for them to explode because it's just that they, they, they don't really reflect what's really going on there. So it's really interesting to see 
how much money's been going into this here. So the NUGT, uh, once if we start to break above 40, then we're probably likely to go for a big run, just like it did back here in 2016. Um, now remember guys, this is a weekly chart, so things do take time as well. So I hope that makes sense, guys. So once again, guys, make sure you head on down to mastertradelab.com to grab your free trial to start getting access to all the education there, plus also the discount price. And make sure you join me today on my next web class where you're going to learn my number one trading strategy, how I scan the markets, use options to trade, and how I have all my trading done in one hour per day. Go to that right now, guys. Thanks a lot, guys, and I will speak to you next time. Before you go, I am giving away a free trial to the Master Trader Lab with all the different trading courses you can see on the screen right now. So go to mastertraderlab.com right now. I'm running a special over the next few days. So go to mastertraderlab.com to get a free trial to all the different trading courses you can see on the screen right now. So go to mastertraderlab.com.